Hello friends and family and welcome to the September 11th Friday edition of our boring meditation stuff. Um, <laughs> I don't I don't think for the rest of my life that date will it, it has it has a ring to it. Um, today I wanted to talk about metta bhavana. Um, I don't want to talk about metta bhavana too often uh, because um, the instructions that I've linked for anapana meditation um, do not actually have metta bhavana instructions. Um, so you would have to find those on, there is a Vipassana Research Institute app which has those at the end of the Anapan um, meditation, but um, it's not there everywhere. Uh, however, in my Pali class in this previous week, we were studying a Pali Sutta that was about Metta Bhavana. And uh, Metta Bhavana is this you know, meditation on friendship, friendship with all beings. Um, and I actually thought it was quite interesting. Um, the, the structure of um, metta meditation uh, is very difficult, very inaccessible to me. Um, it's this kind of loving kindness meditation and, and uh, I find that that is much harder <laughs> than um, focused meditation. Um, and it involves a bit of imagination, like you are imagining, um, may all people be happy, um, may um, all people be free of suffering, these kinds of things. Um, there's no magic to it. It's not, it's not anything magical, but it is external um, in the sense that you are wishing things. Um, and what's interesting about uh, metta is that a portion of it is this idea of sharing your merits. And that probably has strange connotations for some people, but that is also fairly simple. Um, the merit that a person does is whatever it is that one has achieved in meditation. And the specific Pali um, addressing this idea that there is some merit that I've I've done something useful here meditating for 10 minutes or one hour or however long the Pali says that you share it with everyone <laughs> and I think that this is significant in the sense that if you understand what the Pali means, if you hear it at the end of a meditation, or if you say it to yourself at the end of a meditation, it keeps you in check. It makes sure that you don't ever make meditation like racing bicycles or like learning a computer programming language or like cooking competitions. Um, most of the other aspects of our lives, even reading books, I'm looking up at my bookshelf <laughs> and thinking about the people in my life who read much more quickly than I do. And uh, um, are kind of these voracious readers. And now, uh, for better or for worse, we have these social networks, um, digital social networks, as opposed to old regular social networks, like Goodreads. So sometimes I wake up in the morning and I open Goodreads and I see, oh, this person has read another book and it becomes competitive. Um, a friendly competition, but a competition nonetheless. And what this Pali, uh, this one or two sentences in Pali is saying is essentially, if I read this book, <laughs> given this comparison. May everyone have read the book, right? May they all learn whatever there is to be learned in the book. May they all have ticked it off as something that they've read 
in their Goodreads profile. Um, this idea of sharing merits is the idea that whatever I have gained, I want everyone else to gain without the work, without sitting down to meditate for one hour. Just I hope that they, whatever calm I've found in meditation, whatever um, small piece of wisdom I've found in meditation, that everyone else should have it. And I hope that they have it. Um, and this is a good way to end meditation, I think, because it becomes tempting. It becomes tempting to finish the meditation and be like, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm a serious meditator. I just meditated for 10 minutes. I just meditated for 20 minutes. Um, and I know the first few times I meditated, that was how I went about it. Um, the same as as everything else in our modern lives, I, I started to instantly feel competitive about it, even though I was an absolute beginner, um, beyond beginner. <laughs> um, and if we take the last minute or two, few minutes of our meditation, once we're done meditating, anapana or vipassana, whatever we're meditating, and we use those minutes to intentionally share whatever we have in meditation with other people. Clearly, it doesn't it doesn't shoot out of us like <laughs> like lightning bolts. I don't know. Oh, everyone has done one hour of meditation with me. It doesn't quite work that way, but. If I think those thoughts, if I have those intentions, then I avoid this trap of finishing a period of meditation, be it 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, three hours, however long it is. I never get to the end and think, I am champion meditator. <laughs> Good for me for doing such a, no, I'm not. Everyone is trying their hardest and it's important that whatever I'm learning, whatever quote unquote merit I am gaining, that everyone has that. Um, and this is the, the sort of lesson of sharing. I mean, it is called sharing one's merits. Um, the same sort of sharing that we teach to, to babies and young children, right? The kind of sharing that we wish everyone actually did. Whatever you have, may other people have it. Um, and that's harder for a small child because when the small child learns it, they have to give up their toy. They have to give up a waffle or <laughs> whatever they have with them that they they want that thing, but they're willing to give it up because they love their mom or they love their brother or sister and they're, they're giving that item to someone else. Or maybe it's even a stranger. This is quite a bit easier in meditation where there's nothing to give up. There's nothing to lose. I'm not trading um, my meditation experience. I'm just wishing it for other people um, that if I've gained anything useful that they can have it. And in this respect, certainly as adults who appreciate the value of sharing, um, it should be easy for us to go through this exercise of saying, yeah, I do hope that everyone is peaceful. I do hope that everyone is happy. I do hope that everyone finds harmony in their life and a way out of anger and frustration and ignorance and jealousy and all these other terrible emotions that we all know too well by the time we're a fully grown adult. Um, but it's surprisingly difficult. Um, often because by the time you're a fully grown adult, maybe a little bit you've forgotten how to share. Um, so you can practice, practice sharing, practice with the children you know. <laughs> when you watch them do it with something concrete, it may be easier for you to do it with something uh, totally, you know, gossamer. <laughs> All right, I hope everyone is taking good care of themselves and taking good care of everyone around them by sharing a lot. And I will talk to you tomorrow.
Goodbye.